and blame all this on you turd but yeah we gotta uh, we gotta break turns in half or in portion because I'm not gonna go back and try to figure out where the turn starts and then I won't know how long a video is right <laughs> you know do I have an hour here or what um, so here we are uh, the next company to make a decision on paying out is this one and let's do a little change making and now i got plenty of time i can take my time again and show you all kind of stupid mechanical shit that doesn't need to be shown but anyway i've got 26 bucks in my hand that's enough to buy any of these i guess including svb which i'm interested in uh i don't have a lot of cash on my company do i want to pay out you know i might want to pay out a buck or two just to get it into my hand i can go up to four doing so i pay a hundred percent premium that goes to the bank see sbb is the only one i'm interested in is anybody else interested in it nobody else has it i'm gonna count on that such circumstance to say I'm probably going to be able to get it for 26. So I'm going to pass and not dilute my stock value at this point. I'm going to have to dilute it anyway by dropping another share so I have enough cash in the corporation to pay for the new company I'm going to buy. Uh, this one's next. I got dick cheese for money and tons here. What do I want? DSB PKP DR. PKP is 23. Other people are interested in it. I'm gonna get, you know, maybe 11 off of this shit. Although, this may be going up. 17, 20, 30, 45. 45 with four shares says it's gonna be going down two anyway. So I might as well pay some money out. Now here's the problem. Still, I'm not going to have a lot of cash here. Uh, whatever I sell this at, like I said, it's going to be in about a lot. Uh, it's going to go down 2 to 11. And then I'll be able to sell it at maybe 10. Uh, 15 and 8 is 23. That's what I need. So I got to pay out eight, uh, the 4 bucks per share, which is 16 bucks. Fifteen, sixteen. I get eight of that. The other eight is still in the bank's hands. Nobody has it. Now I figure out my value. It's seventeen, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. With four shares out, is going to go down twice to eleven. You gotta do what you gotta do. I need to keep floating money into my hands. This share, I'm gonna be able to sell off. Okay. Now, the final one here. I want PKP, which is 23. KK and DR are not available. Uh, does anybody want HE? He kinda does. Um, I want PKP. I have 23 bucks. I am lower in the order than he is. He has 23 bucks. I have got to let some money out in order to be able to overbid him. Oh no, he doesn't have 23, but he probably does. I need to emit some cash. Let's see what we've got here. 24, 34 with three shares out. That's gonna go up two. I could give out up to four bucks and still go up two spaces hmm. going up two spaces looks very valuable because that would put me to here which jumps up to 13 a share so i want to do that so i'm only going to emit a buck a share uh i've got three shares out 
at a buck a share that gives me one buck and I'm gonna hope for the best because I need to get more cash into here should I send two out I don't know it would be safer uh, PKP is the only one that I really want but What if I send another buck out? If I send a second buck out, that would be three bucks more from here. So there's only four here, 24, 28 at three shares. Yeah. No, because then I'm only at 10 bucks a share. It, it's just not worth it. So yeah, the seven, 15, 31 at three shares out says this goes up two spaces and I jump it up to 13. And that's the kind of risk you take in this game, right? I might lose the thing that I really want, but the bonus for getting, being able to release a share at, you know, near 13 maybe. Although that may not be the case because if he doesn't release, I'm dropping back down to that 10 which means it's not that big a deal, right? I don't know. You know yeah, you're, you're walking this knife edge in this game and you just can't be sure how it's all gonna play out. I guess you could project a, a little better than I am, but uh, this is all I got right now. Okay, and that ends the turn and I have battery problems. At the top of this new turn, I have no idea where we are. It's like around turn four or so. Uh, we have the option to emit shares and it starts with this guy now he has to pretty much unfortunately we're talking about a big drop he's only going to get 10 bucks <sighs> but if I don't whatever I buy I can't throw my money back in and then buy the next good thing or whatever <sighs> but it's a hard choice when you're looking at Hey, I got 14 bucks. I could drop down, or I got a 14 buck a share, but I'm only going to get 10 bucks for this. That gives me 21. The cheapest thing I can buy, 15 for HE, but I'm only, yeah, I am interested in that. Uh, so, yeah, I think I do want to do it based on that because you want to cycle the money in and out of here rapidly if you can. Uh, there are reasons you might not want to, like you want to hold up the game or something, but generally that's a case, it's very seldom the case where no one wants to move things forward, so you're kind of forced to keep up with the pace all the time. Uh, I'm going to kind of step away a little bit and a little less detail on things, but yeah, this guy's going to release and get that 10 bucks. A very similar situation. This guy thinks he's going to hold off because now it's going from 13 to 9. Yeah, same kind of situation. But you know, yeah, I need, want the PKP, but if I hold it in my hand, I can generate income and build up and generate stock value. So why make the decision too early? So he's actually not going to emit a share at this point. Now him, and I don't even know if I'm going to get the PKP, right? That's the only thing that works for me. <clears throat> Whereas he has multiple options. Uh, the SBB is available. Yeah. I'd be taking a loss on it, but... Uh, and... The HE doubles up there. And that's, that's it. Uh, over this guy. PKP and us. I don't have a lot of money here. I'd also be dropping to the nine bucks a share. I don't know. I mean, it's these hard decisions. What do you want to do? I have enough cash to operate with these, but I think again, I'm going to withhold from dropping that share out because I don't necessarily want to move things forward all that much. And with two shares invested, I've got double the money involved in rising that stock value. Is it going to raise though? 21, 26, 27, 28. Uh, I got to get it up to 43 or it's going to drop in value anyway. So maybe I just want to take the nine bucks. Although I certainly won't be buying anything with that right away. 
I'm gonna be losing stock value. So yeah, I am gonna I am gonna send one out. Uh, no, it's too big a dump. That twelve twenty-four. Yeah, I'm gonna hold. Just because I do have the extra share is why I'm holding. This guy's in a, a much better situation though. If I drop down to nine, then it goes down to eight when I sell a share. Uh, that doesn't sound too terrible. Now, of course, this guy might end up selling his share because of the 11 being in the way now. And that's how, you know, other people's actions just really influence your decisions. Um, but, yeah, I think emitting the share for him is worthwhile. Uh, simply, although I have close to enough money, the PKP... Here can be sold for up to 29. I'd like to have that extra cash go into my pocket if I end up uh, selling a, sh a share and buying that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that guy, which goes. Sorry about the quick pan. I try not to do that, but it's hard when I have things set up this way. So that goes to there. Now everybody's made their choice. Yeah, I don't seem to be pulling away very well here, do I? Farm corporations. Nobody's got any miners or any companies. And now we're at the share purchase stage. <sighs> With 26 bucks, and I want the SBB. I will put a bit of 26 on it. And now it's time for other people to make their decision. Do they want it? Uninterested, he's got other things he wants. He also doesn't have the cash. Twenty-four. Nobody's got enough cash. Twenty-six bucks. It is. I get the thing I want. Did I want the HE instead? You know, maybe. But given that I can guarantee this, that I want more. Do I want it more? Uh, see, the HBB gives me. Uh, the HE gives me three bucks in synergy. You know what? I got to think about this. I don't know if I want to put that bit on. And obviously you can see how much of a pain in the ass I would be in an opposed game because I do that same kind of, oh, geez, I got to make a decision and then I, I go back on it. Okay, so HE is going to give me three bucks in synergy, two over here and one over here. Um, it's also cheaper, which means I can dump my money easier. So yeah, I'm going to put the HE up for 15 I don't think anybody else gives a shit about it. And I also notice nobody else cares about the SBB, which is important because it's not really an opportunity that I'm losing uh, because of that. Okay. So I think everybody lets me have the HE. He might be interested, but he doesn't have the cash for it. So yeah, so I get it for 15. Which is better because I buy something that I can afford the maximal price for dumping the cash in. So I make that, you know, I make that immediate four buck gain, which really is only a one buck gain because I'm getting this. But then I also help my company out a little bit. Okay, and that makes B available. Over here at two, DSB, PKP, I want... I need 23 for the PKP. DR is not available. DSB is not available. I want to set up for the PKP and I want to make sure I get it. So I'll sell this. Is that enough money? 13, uh oh, 13 and eight is 21 bucks. That's not very much. That's not enough. Hmm. I could get the NS that I don't really want, and, but other people do. But I, I don't want to waste my money on something that's not very helpful to me. Uh, does it work? It doesn't work with the things that are out there. I'm gonna, 13 bucks, I could buy a share of this, which doesn't look terribly bad right now. And it might make money. Um, 13, 25, 26. Say I wipe out the money. Uh, 30, 41. 
with three shares out. It looks like it's going up in value. Eh, that doesn't sound like a bad purchase. I'm not gonna have the cash, but who knows? It's possible they might make money. So I'll buy one of these for 11. And that moves this. Now, there is some danger. Um, the danger is, of course, that this guy could now sell his share. But that's not going to happen at this point. This is a healthy company. I don't want to hand it off. Uh, it could actually, you know, be pillaged uh, for this thing. MS, does anybody want MS? Yeah. They, so these two parts of the company could be sold off to that company. There's all kind of uh, things that could happen if it does get dumped on me at this moment. The danger of it is if I walk into the operations time when you're able to close companies, somebody could close them off. But this still looks like a, a happening concern that the owner doesn't want to just dump. It's not like the stock value is making him that much money, but mm, unless he was holding... Uh, so the HE might be interesting in relation to something else here that maybe he doesn't want to throw in. So he might want to hurt me with it, but it looks right now like he'll hurt himself more. Now we go over here. He's got 24 bucks. PKP. Somebody else wanted this shit, didn't they? He did, but he's not going to get it because I'm the only person with enough cash. And yep, so 23 bucks for that PKP share company. Nobody else can have it. Just picked it up. Now, I don't have enough cash here to buy it back in, but I wasn't going to have that even if I emitted the share. And now we have the SNCF available. Well, he could use the B, which is 22. He doesn't have the cash, and it's not available right now. NS at 21. Again, well, he does have the cash for the NS, it might be worth buying one of these. Uh, so we will sell this share. And it, yes, drops my stock value down to 10 bucks. That gives me 22. That's enough for the NS. We'll put that over here. And if need be, I can pay out some dividends. The problem is, of course, I don't have enough cash to buy the company back. and yeah, <laughs> Some definite problems there. Everybody's gone around once. We go again. Over here, I don't have money. I'm out. Basically, unless I want to buy a share. Uh, the cheapest share will be 12 bucks, which I don't have right now, but things could change. Player two here. I could sell this for 10. That doesn't help me. I could sell this. So I have a total of 1921. That doesn't help me for anything I want. So I'm passing, probably perma pass. Over here, no cash. He's on perma pass. He only has the one share. Over here, I have that 21 bucks that I want it for the NS. The NS has synergy. Nobody else has that kind of cash. So that's bought. And note, now the reds are going to cost a buck each. We have an E. I fall into an advantage. Um, Go back. Doesn't look like anything's changing over here. I think we're done. Yeah. Nobody's got anything they can do, so we switch back. And now we determine the player order. One, two bucks is worth two, and three and four stay the same with their one buck each. I mean, this, he only has 11 bucks. Uh, there's nothing anywhere near that cheap. So he's done, and now we can buy corp the companies with our corporations. And I'll think about that and come back in a bit. One purchase, the HE here. It's created a couple of synergies. That's good. Uh, these other two, 
they just don't have the cash sitting on the corporations to buy the companies so those companies are just going to produce you know their direct income for now Closed companies. Well, it actually might make sense now because the cost of ownership of a buck, but if we look, everything makes actually more than a buck. The one that makes uh, the ones that make only a buck a turn have a synergy marked on them. Uh, theoretically, this should be over down here and it would be harder to see. And you can see why, hey, this guy is worth two bucks minus a buck. It's worth keeping him. It's worth keeping something even if it produces no income because it increases your corporate value and you have a chance of getting more stock value off of it. It also gives you some flexibility for selling it and stuff like that to something else. Nobody was interested in poor WT. So now we're on income and eight bucks over here. Synergies start playing out here. He's got nothing there, but he gets three bucks there. And I'm gonna have to trash come back some of that money. Um, over here, no, no companies, but here, two, four, five, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. I have to discount a buck. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bucks. That. And this becomes kind of trickier because you have to do a little bit more math in your head once you're starting to subtract the costs of ownership over there. Over here, three, four, five, six bucks. Not a whole hell of a lot of cash, but you're getting an idea of what kind of income you can expect to get on things. But another six bucks for him for the PKP, which is kind of cool. And likewise over here, three four bucks for him and six for his personal company, the NS. And again, obviously we're gonna have to emit shares for these. Uh, now we go to dividends. We look here. Well, I have something to buy. So I'm interested in keeping cash on hand here I probably am not going to be able to pay out enough dividends to do anything interesting with, so I'll leave that alone. And we're looking at uh, 24. We don't count any kind of penalty against it. 34, 35, 37 bucks with three shares. I still go down one notch, which is a pity, but, you know, I'll be able to at least sell it at whatever's just below 12. <laughs> Uh, all right, the $11 one. 13, 14, 26, 36, 41, 51, 56. Now, here's the problem. I have 30 bucks. That will not buy me E if I wanted that, but I don't particularly want E. What I want is SBB probably, and that's enough money for SBB. So I'll leave the cash here, I think. 13, 14, 26, uh, 36, 41, 56 for three shares. Ooh, that's a lot of money for this company. I could actually emit some cash. Uh, however, it's better to move it all at once than to trickle some in. I look like I have enough. So this goes up two. And there's a blank spot there. It's in the wrong place, so, you know, I don't get any kind of benefit off of it. Over here, I have something to buy, so I want cash. I don't have a lot of cash, but I want stock value. 11, 21, 22, with four shares out. Yeah, this is not going well for him. He drops down to the eight buck a share point. Uh, we're going to have trouble buying the NS for anything valuable. And over here, I have shares of different things. That's kind of interesting. And you can see, you know, these share prices are not going up. So investing in them, and they're not paying out. So investing in them is not necessarily a good thing. It's not like 18xx where you can guarantee, yeah, you know, I'll make some money off of having the money invested. Sometimes the best thing you can do is just sit on cash. 
Oh, so here's 17. Let's get this one. Seven, four, eight, four, nine, fifty, fifty-one bucks uh, with four shares out. I could give up up to eleven of those bucks and still go up two value. Now, unfortunately, there's four shares out. That means if I pay eight, <laughs> I'm paying two bucks a share. I get four bucks in here. I think that's worthwhile because I'm worried about my cash value or my cash reserves. So I'm actually going to pay out. I don't think anybody else owns any of that crap. And now we're at 17, 18, 30, 43 with four shares, which sends the stock value up to the 11 a share point. And we've all paid out. And yes, there's a lot of little micromanagement with the numbers. Um, some of the times the decisions, you don't have to know what your stock value is going to turn out as. It just doesn't matter. But I like to know. I feel like it's a piece of input that I actually need. Even when I don't need it, you know, even when I didn't need it, I'm not sure that I didn't need it, you know. <laughs> uh, so that ends up pushing us to the next. On the share emission side, this guy has an interesting call. So he only has 15 bucks in here. He emits a share. Uh, currently he's here. That's going to drop down to 10 bucks that he's going to get out of it. So all he'll have is 25 bucks. That's all he'll be able to pay out uh, if he wants to buy either the SNCF or the SBB. However, the company will become stronger. Even if I pay less, even if I don't make a lot of money, my share still becomes strengthened by this. Danger? There's somebody who holds a share of it. Um, if I end up buying one of those things, I could end up losing this big, cool company very easily because I no longer have the cash to protect my company. And this guy could easily drop a share of what he has to buy up my company. I think I'm gonna choose not to emit a share because I don't think I can keep funneling minor companies through without losing my, uh, without at least the danger of losing my company. So that's a problem because somebody else holds this. Now, I could have said, wow, that's a sucky position I'm in. But it's not. I can buy a share of my stuff and drive its prices up. Um, <laughs> but if I was in a really ugly position and didn't have the cash to buy another share, I might want to just destroy this company and dump it on somebody as a burden. Especially if I had another company that was kind of working or something. I don't know. But there, there are... Or, I don't know, if I was holding other shares of something. Anyway. Uh, how about this guy? Does he want to drop a share? He needs cash badly. And I have 13. I could go up to 23. That pays this off, but no more. So I don't really make money off of dumping that cash back into my hand. Uh, other things... I'm not really interested in other things that are available. So I too am gonna hold off and let my company kind of develop a little bit more income before I make that decision that I'm gonna pull the trigger on my PKP. This is kind of weird. Uh, over here, well, he doesn't have cash. He has potential cash though. Uh, somewhere around 20 bucks, 26 bucks. Do I have something I want? I want the PKP. That's not available. DSB not available. DR not available. It looks like I'm kind of up Shit's Creek with this company and it's not going to go anywhere. What does that mean? Well, that means there's not really a reason to put a share out. <laughs> it's not gonna be able to buy anything of terrible interest um, that I see that's available. And that could, this could be kind of the beginning of the end for that guy's holdings, basically. 
course, he has the advantage of having one of these shares. Maybe he'll be able to buy that, right? I don't know. Uh, okay. And our final one here, he wants to buy the NS. If he dropped a share, he'd get seven bucks. That would be uh, 18 bucks. Might be worth buying it for 18, but I don't really think so. I think I'm better off, again, like everyone else, just holding off. Sort of a, a cyclic pattern here. At least a couple of people are making some cash off of their holdings, right? And you can buy something. Form corporations. These all mesh, so there's no reason to form a corporation at this point. We think. See, forming corporations takes money out of your pocket. And there are advantages and disadvantages to it because it can give you shares that you can then dump and have money in your pocket again. So it is a way to put money in your pocket, but it's really hard when you have that synergy set up already to make that decision of, yeah, you know, the best thing to do is start another company here. Now, starting another company here probably means destroying the company you have. But is that the best choice? Maybe it is for this guy. Not that that affects this decision at all. Uh, so let's look at the prices here. PKP. So PKP could strip this from here. Now I'm getting an extra two bucks here and keeping this alive. I don't think I'm going to do it with this one. But over here with the NS, this might be more interesting because this is almost valueless. It's currently making me a buck a turn. Whereas this is making three bucks a turn, which you know, in conjunction with that. So at a buck a turn, this may not be that terribly valuable, and I could dump 10 bucks for the PR from whatever this company is, and then still have a valid and powerful company. I've thrown a lot of shares out of this. This isn't worth much. It's share value is crap. Oh, uh, why should I keep it? You know, <laughs> why not let it die? It's an interesting thought. So what would I need? Well, if I, create this into a company. It's 21. It's yellow. Uh, obviously, if I created it at 20, that would be a lot. But 14 is the lowest I am allowed. No, I could create it as low as 20, which would mean three shares. Uh, right. So that would be uh, 30 bucks. I'd owe nine on that. I don't have nine, so I can't do that. If I did it at 14, it would be 28, which would be seven bucks, which is exactly what I have. Oh, uh, yeah, let's try this out. I think this is an interesting idea. So I'm gonna float another company. And I'm gonna start it at 14 a share. which I have to buy two shares of that in order to exceed this. It's 28 bucks. Seven bucks goes into the company treasury. I get these two shares. And now two more shares get emitted for another 28 bucks. and I feel like I've somehow created some money with this IPO. I'm not sure if I have, but now I can buy this for 10 bucks and I can starve this thing out and pay out dividends with it. And if anybody's stupid enough to buy some of the shares of it, yeah, they can own it. You know, It's gonna be a pile of garbage. So that's the other way you can use this synergy is uh, to, stir, to divest uh, ownership of the little companies that are still valuable without this. And I feel like I've created some money. I have 14 bucks in hand that I didn't have a minute ago. I only had seven bucks. Is that a lot of money? No, but you know, <laughs> it's some of it. And now I'll be able to strip this as hard as I can. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting thing to do. Should this guy have done it? I don't know, because this looks a little bit more positive, but we're not sure. 
Uh, so now we can start our bidding. And I have to think here. Looking from his perspective, he could buy either of two companies that interest him, the SBB and the SNCF. Well, the SBB is the more valuable, supposedly, but the SNCF has some advantages. It links with E, if I go to that at some point, and it links with B here, and this does neither of those. It's also cheaper and produces the same base. So that's what I'm going to do, because nobody else has the cash for it. I'll just buy that for 24 bucks. Do I have enough money here? Yeah, not yet, but, you know. <laughs> we work on, on these things a little at a time, right? We weren't, we weren't going to have enough cash to buy this over at full, full value of 30 bucks anyway. So we'd rather let things simmer a little bit and see if we can make more. Can't do that. Remember what we were saying before about the purchase? Yeah. <laughs> we do that, we lose our company. Did I pay that buck already? I don't know. Oh, uh, let's see. 24, yeah, I think this is where we are. So we can't afford to buy that. Uh, what we have to decide is whether we want to buy another share of our stuff. If we buy another share, it's 15 bucks at this point because there's nothing else above 13. We would be at 13, 14, 26, 36, 41, 51, 56 bucks. Three shares issued. It would go up twice. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, so we'll buy a share of our stock. Of course, that might cause somebody to dump it, but that's okay. And we've driven the price up. 15, 14, 13, what company is that? That's the bear. Oh, there is only one other share left. Um, and this is kind of sad, we can't buy the company we want, but it's because somebody else holds a share of our company and could easily capitalize in and, and, and take it. He has enough money that he could have paid the 15 himself by selling that second share he has of his kind of crappy company. And that puts him in an ugly position. You know, what does he want to do? That 15 goes to 16 at that same value. Is that interesting? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what our number was, but it was 13, 14, 26, 36, 41, 56 bucks. Looks like that would still go up too. So I could ride a better value if I dump this, because this doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It honestly doesn't. If I can't take this over, um, there's the DSB that doesn't exist. We've gotten all the yellows out because we're on green there. So uh, that just doesn't exist. PKP is already bought. I won't be able to get that. DR doesn't exist. Uh, so I'm kind of at a dead end with this company. Is there something I want to start? I could get 13, because there's no 14 available. And 10 is 23 bucks. 28, 29. I could float a new company. Is there one that I want? There's two that have ease in them. Why? Oh, because he didn't buy it. Yeah, so I can sell a share. Now, given that this goes from 15 down to 13, I'm gonna sell this share for 10 bucks. As the first, I can only do one share action of any kind in each opportunity, uh, which gives a lot of room for people to kind of react but it's all very slow motion. I'm gonna have to swap up batteries and probably think a little bit. Okay, over here is actually in a similar situation where, hey, because I bought this in a while ago actually and didn't convert it yet, 
I could actually lose my company. How big a deal is that? I don't know. It's not as big a company as this is. Is it attractive? Uh, SX is useful to him, but the thing is, SX is useful here too. So I'd be stripping, you know, like this company to help this company, and that doesn't really do anything terribly good for me. And if I hold two companies, uh, you know, would I have enough money to buy two shares of this? Yeah, with this I would. Uh, so that company's at threat at risk too. And the thing is, if he doesn't have anything he wants to buy, taking over a company might be the thing to do. <laughs> uh, and there's not much I can do about it because I held that PKP. I didn't turn it into cash immediately. When you're not liquid, bad things can happen. What do I want to do with my money? There's not much I can do. I have seven bucks in hand. There's nothing that's going to be seven bucks. The cheapest company's eight. So I'm stuck passing here. He has, you know, some 13 bucks, current value is 13, uh, that I could get. But that 13 bucks doesn't help me right now. <laughs> There's always the question of, does it make sense to drop the share now so that, because maybe it's not going to be worth much later. Right now I'm looking at 46.56 with four shares. That's still going to gain a space. So I'll hold on to it on the thought of that and go into Everpass. Uh, I guess, unless something weird happens. Ah, do I have any? Oh, the reason I did this was I have a, a potential to rip this over there, which I'm going to do. Okay. All right. Which will further increase its value. So I definitely want to hold two shares of that. Uh, coming back over here. I have these two shares. I have my 15 bucks. Is there something I want to do with 15 bucks? Well, I can't buy this, which if I knew what he's going to do would look definitely attractive. Uh, is this attractive? 24, 34, 37 at three shares. It's going up in value, but at 13, it would be going down in value. I don't think I want to spend my money on that. There's nothing else. This clearly is not terribly worthwhile. Now, it's going up in value if it makes this money, but then it's going to overspend for that. So it just doesn't sound terribly valuable to me. So I'm going to just pass and hold on to some liquidity here. Uh, this guy over here, what are we sitting on? We're sitting on 16 bucks. I could dump this, but this is making money, uh, maybe. <laughs> it certainly isn't dumping lots of money, and if it's paying out dividends, hey, I'll get some of them. So it sounds like a good holding for me. The only problem is that I'm the second player, so if it starts to look really unattractive, I could end up owning something terrible, except he's got two shares. So no, that's not going to happen, because you can only, emit, you can only uh, sell one share at a time. Uh, how is this? Is this attractive to me or do I want cash on hand? I don't know. I really don't know. 13 bucks, I could buy a share. See, the problem with buying one share is you're not really in a position to take it over. How appealing is this if I take it over? SX works with that. This is kind of garbage, but it doesn't. I wasn't terribly interested in that. I don't know. I'm only going to make a buck or two if I hold on to that. That isn't sitting on a decent amount of cash. I don't think it's going to be uh, throwing out big dividends because he's saving up, probably buying the PKP. I think I can hold off on that. Yeah, I might regret this, but I guess everybody passes at this point. Player order. I just inch ahead with a one buck advantage. That's huge. Uh, and the rest are good. The foreign investor. Well, nobody bought anything. I got a grand total of 19 bucks, not enough to buy any of this shit. Now let's buy companies. There's only one company available for sale. Well, the WT is available for sale. 
does this want to pay 14 bucks for the WT? Hmm. Seeing as I'm not growing in any other direction, that might be worth it. What is my... I think I only get the one synergy off the WT, which means WT... What is that? That's the BD. I would be making five extra bucks a turn off that 14. Oh, will I make it through three turns? <laughs> Probably. Will I need this cash before then? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm having trouble moving this. I think I'm going to give him 14 bucks for the WT. Because I'm not able to expand on my own in any direction. So that sounds interesting to me. And I get a two-bucker from the BD here. Now, if anybody else had wanted it, they could bid it up from that 14 bucks. But, uh, no, it's not bid it up. Um, geez, I'm trying to remember how purchasing from the investor works. There, there's a different mechanism on that. Uh, let's see. Corporation with higher share points, uh, with higher share price, could trump in. Now this is the highest share price company, so or corporation, so it actually has the first option to buy it. But if anybody else wanted to buy it, I could have trumped in and said, "Now nah, I'll buy it." But I want to pick it up. It may not be a great idea. Uh, it has definitely trimmed away the cash outlay available for this. But I think I've enhanced my long-term prospects, maybe? I don't know, because I've picked something up at a high price that didn't go into my pocket, so I can't churn it. That's uh, problematic. Okay. Um, but we're testing things out. Closing companies. Okay. The red companies are all at least breaking even. No reason to close them. And now it's income time. Back, something I forgot back when uh, corporations could buy companies. This guy wanted to buy the PR for 10 bucks, uh, which changes some of the income uh, distributions that will happen. But I've taken care of everybody up to them, but I don't think it really affected anybody's play yet. Time for tricky decision making. So <sighs> most of the companies, uh, well, so. Uh, I don't know, I guess it was a mixed thing, but most of them are going up in value, which seems a little odd to me, but uh, this one did not pay dividends, but the other two have, in order to get more cash into their owner's hands, it didn't affect their going up in value in order to do so. This one, however, here it's the big difference. So I've got 29, 30, 46 bucks. With four shares, that would go up two, but, I only have 21 bucks after I collect my money for this. 21 bucks, which isn't enough to buy anything. And I really kind of want to start a new company or something. I don't know. Maybe the, even the E uh, or the SNCF at 24 is probably more, more appropriate. So I only have 16 bucks, 21. I need to emit more money. If I emit the three bucks per share for this, I drop this thing's share value, but I think it's very important for me to keep money flowing through my hands. So even though the share value of this going up, that's almost not important. This company's probably dead, which means its eventual share value is zero. Uh, therefore, if it's dead, unless I buy uh, something into it and I can't do that unless I can buy something into my hand. Now I could, I could sell this share, and that might not be a bad idea because it's made some nice value. So there's actually a thought. What do I have with that? 18. Uh, say that goes down. Hmm, that goes down to 15. 
15, 35, 36, still not enough for that. I need about seven bucks in that direction to buy it, to buy the E, if that's what I want to pick up. Or if I want to pick up the other one, I have 21. Uh, SNCF was the most interesting, I think, to me. That's 24 bucks. Eh, you know, I'm a little short on that. I'm a little short even on the B. Um, if I am at three bucks a share, this goes down two. What does that actually mean? Well, it means that it lasts less time so I can uh, throw out capital. You know, I can pay out dividends less often, but I don't think that matters. So I think I'm gonna pay out that full three bucks a share, which works out to be uh, 12 bucks. And then I get three of that. The reasons it doesn't matter that I'm doing that is I've dropped, yeah, I've dropped my share value and that means that if I emit a share at this point, it hurts, you know, I don't get as much cash off of it, but maybe I don't emit a share at this point. I still have a fair amount of money and I can pay out the per share value. And now the share price is lower. So now like that 17, it still doesn't do it, but uh, you know, what is available in cash in this is enough to send it up two more points so that I can pull that extra cash back in later anyway. So the big drop doesn't hurt that much. Over here, this is in the death spiral. There's nothing can be done about it. Uh, I've pulled its, you know, one valuable thing. Now what I'm doing is I'm just pulling, you know, whatever money I can out of that company uh, before it hits its bankruptcy point. <laughs> and that may involve, you know, issuing new shares uh, in order in order to come up with additional cash. Uh, but yeah, it, at six bucks, it's almost at the point where it's just gone. So I'm just trying to take whatever I can out of it. I'm obviously not gonna get whatever value I put in, but honestly, what value did I put in? This two bucks plus whatever cash I threw into it. Uh, which would be none because it started with this and now PR I hope it started maybe it started with PR in which case I did throw money in um, but you know I've moved what was worthwhile in it out of it and whatever money I made off the IPO or whatever I'm pushing around putting elsewhere so I think I'm okay I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm losing money. It's really hard to tell. You can see though, I have two shares of this. So I have $32 there plus whatever cash on hand I have. I've made money somehow. You know, I haven't lost money off of running this and making this IPO. So I, whatever. <laughs> All right. I think it's time for this one to go up, even though I'm not at the hour mark. At least I'm at the end of the turn and I know I can't get through the next turn.